play. Hmm. I wonder what lives here. Wow, there are so many plants and animals living together in this habitat. Let's make a habitat of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to your habitat. Let's keep going. Plants. Flowers. Now we can choose a plant to add. You can always use my book to learn more information. Click on the things in the tray to learn about them. When you are ready to add something, click the book to close it. Leafy. Leafy plants are good food for lots of bugs. Flowers have a watery liquid inside called nectar that many animals like to eat. Put something from the tray into the habitat. Leafy plants are good food for lots of bugs. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm. Leaf cutter ant. Ants live in large groups. They work together to collect leaves to take back to their nests. I notice each time we add to the habitat, new plants and animals can live there. Snail. Bark centipede. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Ladybug larva. Aphid. These are larvae, or baby ladybugs. How will they need to change to be adult ladybugs? We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. I notice a ladybug larva has a long, bumpy body. What do you notice? I notice the centipede has lots and lots of legs. What do you notice? The jaws of leafcutter ants work like a pair of scissors to cut leaves into pieces. Rough green snake. Orb weaver spider. Orb weaver spiders build webs of strong, thick silk to catch other bugs to eat.
I notice the orb weaver has a brown body with a light brown pattern on its back. Aphid, rough green snake. The green snake's color helps it to blend in with the leaves on bushes and trees. I notice the snake has a bright green body. What do you notice? Flowers provide food for many animals in this habitat. Ants are super strong for their size. They can carry 50 times their body weight. Flowers can be many different shapes and colors. Let's keep exploring. Honeybee, five lined skink. Honeybees tell each other where food is in a special way. They do something called a waggle dance with their bodies. Honeybees flap their wings very fast, which is why it sounds like they're buzzing. Flowers provide food for many animals in this habitat. I notice the honeybee has two sets of wings. It has bigger ones in the front and smaller ones in the back. Honeybees flap their wings very fast, which is why it sounds like they're buzzing. The green snake has great vision, which helps it see its food. Monarch caterpillar. Yellow jacket wasp. Wasps live in groups called colonies. I notice the yellow jacket's body has a yellow and black pattern. Five lined skink. Monarch caterpillar. Caterpillars are the baby form of butterflies. I wonder what colors and patterns this butterfly will have. The ladybug larva is black with red spots. Flowers can be many different shapes and colors. I notice the ladybug larva has a long, bumpy body. What do you notice? The ladybug is now an adult. It has a red shell with spots on it. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. I wonder what we'll find. Bumblebee, yellow jacket wasp. Bumblebees move pollen from one flower to another. This helps make more flowers. Monarch butterflies feed on nectar from flowers using their proboscis, a long tube that lets them drink up the nectar. American Robin. 
loggerhead shrike. Sometimes the robin bird hops along the ground looking for its food. These plants give lots of animals food and a place to hide. We finished our habitat. I love nature. Let's keep exploring. You can keep exploring or you can make another habitat. Do you want to start a new habitat? Click this button to look at the animals you've discovered.